What's up guys, Cody here uh, with another video. Um, lately a lot of people have been getting CMS'd on YouTube, meaning they are uh, they are pretty much getting partnership without ads. So uh, branding options are enabled and all that other good stuff, which is nice. Uh, for those of you who don't know, branding options is, um, let me show you quick. Branding options are things like this, a banner, and um, I know a few of you might need help with this because uh, you can have a banner, you can have uh, a little badge on the side, and you can even have, let me show you here, uh, you can even have a little picture uh, up here by your subscribe button. So. A few people are wondering, you know, they probably know how to make a banner, but some people don't know how to make multi-link banners. For example, um, this will direct you to my website. Well, if you click this, it will direct you to my Twitter. And then this will direct you to my Facebook. Um, a few things to know about this is that it's not very hard to do. Uh, there's online generators for it, so if you know HTML, uh, it shouldn't be hard for you to do, but those who don't know, it could be a little challenging manually, so I'm going to show you how uh, to use like online tools for your convenience. So, first thing you're going to want to do is make a banner, and um, I already I already had one, uh, had one here, as you can see. Um, but you're going to make a banner and uh, standard size for that is 960 by 150 so keep it within those dimensions uh, then you're going to go to any image map code like online image mapper online image mapper alright so there's a few of them here to choose from choose which one you think is best experiment with them a bit I'll use this one because it's the top, the top result uh, you're going to choose a file from your PC in this case I'm going to choose my banner and uh, right here and then I'm going to start mapping my image uh, I recommend you do this in Chrome or Firefox Internet Explorer likes to be pretty retarded for, you, uh, for those of you who don't know already but let this load up and continue the next step so <clears throat> basically you have this and they give you a pretty simple option you drag a box think of it as tagging photos on uh, like Facebook or something like that. It's pretty much the same. You uh, you make a shape around it, and then you you make it uh, you like import the link and then the title. So this is the uh, the link is what it takes you to, and the title is when you hover over it. Usually there's a tool tip that'll tell you. Hold on, let me open up. Let me open up Firefox and see if it shows you. Other than this, uh, all right, so let's see if it does it in Firefox. Okay, so it's not in Firefox either, but most of the time when you hover over it, there'll be a little tool tip that will tell you where it's going and uh, you pretty much do that and then you're going to click save move on to the next one uh, drag it to your uh, your desired dimensions and then save and then blah 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 and save and let me just make one link just for the hell of it now, <clears throat> now you can get your code it's going to take a while to generate, well not going to take too long then you're going to go to HTML code and you're going to copy everything from this up so div style ending with slash div before the image map text links end and then uh, you can just go to branding options paste the code in here and, uh, and upload the same exact banner to your channel make sure it's the same exact banner because it's mapping it out to those dimensions and where stuff is so whatever image you used here make sure you use here that's pretty crucial and then uh, that's pretty much it guys and there you go it's same principle for the for the 
side badge but um that's pretty much it thanks for watching and i hope it helped